I'm here at the Pimax Becker meetup and lots of people are trying the Pimax 8K and the 5K Plus and I'm here to catch their first impressions and this is what this video is all about and it's coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So the big day has come. Yesterday and today lots of people came here, lots of backers came here to try out the Pimax 8K and the Pimax 5K Plus. It was a very very exciting event. It's still a great event. There's lots of great people here. There's lots of adult beverages, there's pizzas and of course the Pimax 5K Plus and the Pimax 8K and finally I'm here to bring you lots of exciting impressions and yeah the first impressions of the people did lots of interviews and you know what just have a look yourself enjoy I'm here with Andre, and Andre, Andre, Andre yeah. no, from Germany. Uh, you are here from Berlin, as you told me just exactly, now. Yeah. And you have just tried out the Pimax 5K Plus, right? Yeah, I've tried out the 5K Plus, and I've tried the uh, the hand motion capturing. The module uh, is just already on the, on the HMD here to try out. And what, what are your impressions about both? Yeah, the 5K Plus with the hand motion was quite fine. It's uh, it's not 100% accurate. The, you the know this in the hand tracking, but you can you can overlap your hands and it's it's just tracking, it's quite accurate. Okay. It's it depends how, how near you're in front of your face. If you're like here, it's it's quite accurate with the fingertips and uh, also the, the response time okay. when you do some tricky stuff with your hands, you can follow that. Okay. And uh, this looks quite cool and if you're kind of far far away, uh, then it's not so accurate like in the front, but it's okay. Okay. And uh, then I tried out the 5K Plus with uh, Elite Dangerous, mm -hmm. and uh, this really looks cool. It's quite, uh, it's, it's, it's really sharp. The texts are sharp. And the colors are. It's nice orange, and nice blue. There are not so much colors in the light dangerous, but it's, true. yeah, but it's, it looks cool. And the black levels are quite fine in the, the cockpit. In the cockpit, in, in the, the space, uh, the area for the feet and everything. There's the, the black flags, I think. Okay. It, uh, it, it really looks nice. So, so how, if you compare, you just told me you have a vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if, if you compare it um, to the, in terms of clarity, would you say it looks better or worse? Or what is your uh, it looks perfectly better. It's, okay, it's, perfectly it's, better. I think okay. it's way. Uh, if you just compare Elite Dangerous, it's it's way supreme. Okay. Uh, compared to the to the Vive, even uh, I use a 1080 Ti with like two times the the resolution. Yeah. And uh, this uh, the 5K Plus is way supreme. Even the 5K Plus, I was nice. surprised. Yeah. Cool. And you you can read the. So I was in the hangar bay uh, yeah. in the cockpit. You can you can see the the signposts uh, on the distance. You can you can clearly see everything. You can read okay. all the texts. Yeah. It's not like sometimes when you're in the Vive and you try to read the text, it's, it's like fuzzy text and it's, it's blurry and shaky and yeah. you can't quite read everything of it. And, it uh, doesn't matter how you move, you, you just uh, you, you can see everything. Okay. That's really uh, that's really, really nice. Uh, nice. Thing, yeah. So um, how about the field of view? How yeah, the field of view is okay. So I didn't notice any blurriness uh, until uh, Martin asked me about it. So uh, if you then if you shake your head and you just keep observing the edges of the of the field of view, yeah. You start noticing some rolling around or some because uh, it rolls with your yeah. with your view. Mm -hmm. It's clear, uh, but it's not it's not really disturbing. I okay, think, you talking about distor distortion yeah. now. Okay, but I mean like um, the field of view as compared to your vibe. Under ten degrees, well, eight. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it is a difference. Great. Yeah, of course yeah. it's different because we. I think uh, he had it to 160 and then we changed to 200. Okay, to the full. Degrees. There's like different to kinds the of degrees and. And yeah, it's nice. If you're sitting in a cockpit, you want to see uh, you want to see a wide field of view. And yeah. This is absolutely uh, it's absolutely delivering this uh, this field of view. So okay, so it's feeling. delivering on yeah. what they promised the yeah. feeling. And if you, I mean, you uh, most of the time you're 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 centered with the, with your view. You're focused in the middle, and uh, you you don't uh, observe uh, the edges all the time. Exactly. So this this is not really disturbing. So. so you mean like you're not like shaking your head all the time? No, of course. Right? Yeah. You're, you're looking at you're the looking in the center. And, and, and yeah. if you if you just 
a little dangerous if, if you swap your view to try to, to, to open these menus to the left and to the right. You do this uh, not only with your with your eyes, you, 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 do, you do it with your head, and then you, you don't notice any, uh, any wild uh, distortions. Okay, yeah, great. So, um, so I could um, summarize. You're looking forward to get your device. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy to <laughs> to get so it. So you're happy. So, so I'm I'm, uh, I'm I would try out the 8K. I okay. haven't done that yet. Uh, but the 5K plus is really it's really something. Nice. Really nice. Okay, Andre. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. No problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm here with Jan, and you are from Leipzig, which is yeah. a city in Germany, not so far away from Berlin. How long do you need to? From from uh, I think it's two hours. Two hours. Okay, yeah, so about. quite some time. And uh, Jan, you are uh, a backer of the AK. Yeah, uh, nice. I'm a bit behind in the line, like four thousand something, but. Okay. Uh, you are a backer. Yeah. So you came all the way to Berlin, two hours, to try out the, the Pimax 8K and. Uh, your first impressions to the MRTV viewer? Um, I mean, I, I know the wire from before, so it's not my first time in VR, but uh, still, I, I was hugely impressed when I first put on the headset, and as well, it was like my whole uh, field of view was covered with screens. Uh, like, the vertical field of view is completely filled for me. I, I think some people see borders, but I don't. And uh, the horizontal field of view is almost covered completely. And there's some distortion at the edges, but uh, you don't really notice when playing. So uh, I was hugely impressed, especially knowing from the wife on the, the uh, mediocre Fresnel lenses, lenses yes. and uh, the mediocre displays. Uh, yeah. The Pimax is completely different wow. and way better. Wow, obviously. that's nice. Yeah. So, um, what did you like? What, what do you prefer more, the wide field of view or the additional clarity? What was what was more? For me personally, yeah. I think the wider field of view really really adds to the immersion. Okay. Um, the the thing I where I no noticed it most is like in the Sortex mini game in the lab. Is it called Sortex? Yeah, I think. The one where you shoot stuff with your hand, okay. and you can see the whole room, like the whole capsule, without, like having, to do this without having to yeah. look around for the enemies that you have to yeah. shoot. You will see it all at once, and that is yeah. really That's awesome. That is good. Yeah, and uh, the clarity is good. Uh, it's really hard to see the clarity when the games are not uh, being rendered at full resolution because yes. they're not optimized. Yes. But um, the thing I would say to about the clarity is, if you know the the uh, virtual landscape that you can go in to in the lab with the mountains and yes. stuff. On the wife, you don't see everything is clear because the displays and the lenses yes. really uh, obscure your vision. And in the Pimax, the lenses and the dis displays are so good that you see that the textures that you're looking at are actually the limiting factor. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. that's really interesting. I mean, I no other, no other. Uh, uh, no other headset, yes. especially not the Vive Pro, can deliver that kind of clarity, I think. Wow, that's very cool. So you are really impressed, actually, right? I am extremely impressed. Yeah. Nice. So you're looking forward to get your AK? I am, yeah. I'm about to uh, check out the 5K+, Plus, uh, which some people say has even more clarity, because it's not upscaled. Yeah, right. But uh, I'm, I'm uh, already really impressed with the 8K. Like, wow. if, I, if I didn't have the option to choose 5K, wouldn't be yeah. a okay. problem. Okay, cool. So, um, what do you think? How much better is the the 8K compared to the Vive that you have at home? Uh, I think it's completely different worlds. Wow, different uh, worlds. I mean, you you can different you can worlds. see you can see the three year difference between the two. You can okay, clearly yeah, see that. Uh, I think there's no aspect that is worse with the Pimax. Okay, yeah. cool. So you're definitely looking forward to get your your Pimax 8K I as am. soon as possible. Extremely, yeah. Nice, nice. So um, you are you seem to be a, like a really VR fan. I am. Yeah. I, Tell us uh, when did you start with it? I didn't start with the DK kits from okay. Oculus because they're a bit experimental, yeah. but I have a day one kit from the Vive, like with the big box and stuff. Okay, cool. Nice. And uh, I'm in, into VR since then. Perfect. So this is the next step for you? Obviously, yeah. And I think uh, it's also the next step for VR in general. Okay. Cool. I'm really convinced of the Pimax, especially now that I tested it. Perfect. And it's, it's a difference to really see it, right? Than yeah. to see some people use it. Yeah. But you saw it yourself, and you, you are like convinced. I am convinced. It's like uh, it's a bit like the difference between first seeing VR and having it 
having seen people play in VR yeah. on the screen and it's the step up from that, like, okay, fang on, uh, okay. I think uh, the difference is um, never having used VR and seeing people use it on screen and then trying on trying VR. Trying yourself, right? That is a big, big step. Different. Extreme big difference, and I think the same difference is going up from the Vive to the Pimax. It's, it's okay. the same thing. You will really have to experience it to to know what people talk, are talking about. So, um, people who did not back the Pimax can pre-order it in October. I, the, the the CEO told me, the the founder told me. Would you say that people who are using now the Vive and the Vive Pro should sell the headsets and pre-order the Vive? Um, for the wife, uh, the, the pre-order the Pimax. Yeah. The, the Pimax. Yeah, I Pimax. think for the wife, Pimax, yeah. Yeah. Pimax is, uh, is a, it's a good name. We can yeah. mention it more often. Yeah. Uh, I think if you have a wife, just go for it. I, okay. It's not worth it anymore. Like there's nothing the wife does better. It's garbage. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's done for. You can it's done. Okay. Might as well throw it in the trash. <laughs> For the Vive uh, Pro, I think if you're into that clarity okay. thing, if you if you really want clarity, like for racing games or whatever, okay. yeah. then I think you're fine. You don't have to spend the money. But if you're in for the FOV and the immersion in general, then I'd go for the Pimax too. Okay, perfect, perfect ending words. Thank you yeah. so much, Jan. Thank you, Thank Sebastian. You. Yeah. Alex, Alex, where are you from? Uh, from California. From California. Yeah. And um, you came all the way here to Berlin. <laughs> yeah, you did. Story, one point, but yeah. one point, yes. Okay, but you're. But you're living here now, yes. and uh, you were super happy to find out that here's the Pimax AK meter. Yeah. Lucky so, enough. You are a Pimax AK backer. Yep. And uh, yeah, you have tried it out now? Yeah, I've tried out the 8K and uh, the 5K plus. Okay, so tell us about your experiences, your impressions. All of my impressions are based off of the time I've had with the Vive, maybe a thousand hours. Most of them being in Elite Dangerous. Okay, or so. so an Elite Dangerous player and you really know that's everything my, about it. That's my base, yeah. So Perfect. So the first experience with the 8K and the 5K. Um, and the first thing that hits you is, of course, the field of view. I think that's why a lot of people are backers, is because they want to have a big field of view. And next, I, I, I really had to deliberately look for everything I've heard about in this case. Uh, distortion on the edges, right. I love that. Turning my eyes, it's not a natural thing to look for. Yeah. But when you look for it, you find it. Yeah, of course. If you, want to, if you want to see it, then you'll see it for sure. Yeah. But otherwise, I think the image quality is, is better than the Vive okay. that, I'm, that I'm used to. And uh, on the 8K, 5K plus, on both? On both, on both? On both? And, okay. And, okay. And I have to say, though, I think I found the quality better on the 5K plus. Okay. So it just has, seems like the. Yeah, the, the, if there's a buzz about the 5K plus coming out of nowhere for yeah. some reason, so it was a very it was surprising. Let's say at least, right? It was probably a good surprising. reason for this. Okay, and I feel like I noticed something there. Um, okay, but it's really hard to be objective when you just sit down. You haven't tweaked everything to the maximum. Yes. Every application has its own behaviors with what sampling it wants to be. Overall, I think, yeah, I should go with the 5K plus per second. So you have, you have back to the 8K, but you are like going to switch over to the 5K plus yeah, yeah. after what you've seen today. Yeah. Okay. Oh, very interesting. So, um, you're an Elite Dangerous player, so uh, probably you also, uh, for you the black values are very important. Yeah. So, what do, you, what do you think about the black, the blacks? That again, yeah, Elite Dangerous is quite good. It's quite black, right? I mean, demonstration. It's quite black. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't see much of a God Rays or Halo okay. effect. Uh, I think perhaps with the 8K there was marginally more. I, I really wish there was a headset that had one panel 8K, one panel <laughs> 5K plus right, so I could right. do one eye at a time. Yeah. But anyways, both are LCD, so yeah. Yeah. Um, were the black levels a problem for you as a dangerous player? Was it like not as black or it was it okay? It wasn't a deal breaker. Okay, cool. Yeah, again, That's it's great. overwhelming with the field of view. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, your, your eye is drowning in light from the scene, so it's, it's not, a, not a big deal. So at the moment you're on the Vive, right? At yeah. home. Yeah. So uh, if you compare the Vive against the uh, against the Pimax, um, how much better is the Vive in your opinion? It seems like you you think it's better. In order of magnitude. In order of magnitude. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, the Vive is, is really first generation VR. I mean, but after experiencing the Pimax, 
I think going back to the vibe will feel like putting on binoculars yeah. and trying to drive like this. Um, so yeah, it really helps bring the immersion with having a feel of view. Um, but the performance all seemed in check compared to the compared to the vibe. I still feel like each application would have its own sort of profile to really maximize performance and image quality. So I wasn't even playing with maximum image quality okay. on, on the Elite Dangerous. So. All right. Yeah. So in order of magnitude, yeah, compared to the magnitude. Vibe, let's get back to that question. <laughs> On a scale or uh, um, yeah, one and a half times better, two times better. What do you think? Or I think it, yeah, twice, two times, times better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What the, what so, I don't want to say that because then they'll just double the price. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna watch this interview. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, overall it seems like you are uh, like very positively surprised. Yeah. Yeah. I'm positive. So, so you can't. With, with what kind of feeling did you come here? I'm, by nature, I'm a very skeptical person. Okay, cool. And, uh, Me too. Yeah, and, and I really wanted to try this firsthand. I was, again, lucky enough to be here for it. And uh, I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I think it's it's not a worse experience than the Vive. Okay. Um, again, because it's an overwhelming field of view, and the image quality is slightly better. Okay. And again, the performance was on check. Uh, I think it will just continue to improve as, as they get more time with the software. Yeah, they need to do something with yeah. the software still. Okay, so um, you're back here, you're lucky you're gonna get it first. And uh, however, uh, in October you can pre-order this from the Panamax website. So for the people who did not back it and who are now on a Vive, would you tell them to pre-order and sell their Vive now? Or what? I don't know, the space is changing still so much <laughs> it's already. It's fast, right? Week, it's we, fast, we, yeah. We heard about Star VR one, Star VR, but it's gonna yeah. be very expensive. But yeah, well, so is the RTX. Yeah, okay, you're right, you're right. So probably some people will want to go for the stuff you want, yeah. once we know the price, right? Well, yeah, I think this would this would certainly give people pause. I don't think anyone would look at the, the Vive Pro, for example, because I think they would find quite a good image quality as well. Yeah, for the yeah. Max Vive game. Mm. So, anyway, it's good stuff. Good stuff, great. Thank you so much for letting us know your impressions and uh, it seems like you're looking forward to get it. Yeah, you know, we've <laughs> waited long enough, so yeah, what's another okay. month or yeah, two? It's okay. At least before the end of the year, please. It seems uh, they're gonna make it. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. So I'm here again with Jan from Leipzig. Now Jan has tried the 5K Plus, yeah. right? So now please tell our viewers 5K Plus or 8K, what is your decision? Um, I'll stay with the 8K that I backed, just uh, for, for one reason only, and that is with the 5K Plus, I think the screen door effect is too pronounced. Okay. Um, what I described with the 8K, where you only see it on uh, on solid colors and not on scenery. I think with the 5K Plus you see the screen door effect at all times. No okay. matter what you're looking at, you always see screen door effect. And, uh, so I, screen door effect more pronounced for the 5K Plus than exactly, the 8K? Exactly, yeah. Uh, I didn't see any added clarity, what okay. some other people tell, told. Yeah. Um, and I don't see a difference between the 90 and the 80 hertz. Only two, personally. So uh, for me, the uh, 8K. 8K so is the clear winner. You pay for winner. the 8K, and you're gonna get the 8K. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> downgrade you. Gonna right? downgrade. Yeah. Okay, so there you heard it. Jan from Leipzig, Germany, will stick to the 8K and not going to change to the 5K plus. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I'm here with Daniel, and Daniel, you're from Hannover. Yeah. Hannover, Hannover is another German city, probably like a two and a half hours by car, yeah. something like this. Yeah. So you came all the way to Berlin just for this? Just for this. Yeah. Nice, awesome. Yeah. So you had the chance to test out the Pimax 8K and the Pimax 8K 5K plus. 5K plus. So, yeah. so um, what, what is your first overall impression just about the device in general? Not comparing them, but in general okay. about the Pimax 8K? Um, the Pimax 8K, I think it's a very light device. It's uh, very comfortable to, to wear this headset. Uh, even with the normal straps they have, uh, use at the moment, uh, I had no problems at all moving my head fast from left side to right side. Um, it uh, just does feel right. It's, it's um, not uh, uh, as heavy as the Vive is or the Rift. Is. Even the Rift, which is a light device, um, um, it's a kind of um, feel 
it's heavier on the head. Yeah. And, uh, it's surprising. This is very surprising. You see this huge thing. Yeah, that, but then like, exactly, exactly, exactly. If you, if you, if you see it uh, on the pictures or even in the YouTube streams or funny, uh, you you imagine this block, this, this heavy block. It's like like a stone in your hands. Uh, but it's uh, the opposite of this. So yeah. interesting. Yeah. So um, and yeah, more impressions. More impressions yes, um, about the screens. Um, I can say that um, uh, the screens um, are um, way clearer than the Rift or the Vive screens and even uh, than the Odyssey uh, headset from Samsung um, that I use at home most of the time. Um, uh, it's, uh, you have a much wider field of view. It's uh, totally different from the experience you have before, you had before and um, it's uh, way sharper too. So uh, if you see, um, we played a game named uh, Little Dangerous here. Uh, I think every gamer knows it. Everybody knows it. And, and uh, at least and in the former headsets you always um, had uh, this thing that you moved your head to a screen and you uh, want to go forward and see it from the near to, 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 to really read because the, text what, because the text was light from the back okay. and it was very unclear and had some kind of god rays sometimes. Um, here the image was totally clear and um, you yeah. still see some screen door effect but um, if, uh, I think if you have a new VR user who, uh, who doesn't know uh, that there is a screen door effect. Um, uh, I think there wouldn't be any people uh, who uh, would uh, talk to you about it after they had their first experience with this headset. Um, it. so it just wouldn't like be something you, uh, you you see automatically. Got it. It's just like uh, you yeah. know the concept of screen door. You know you it. Look for it. Yeah. Right? Because you, you, then then you see it, but but, yes. uh, but, uh, but in the experience itself, the immersion, uh, you aren't able to notice it, notice it at all. I think. Okay. Um, so yeah. it's. Uh, I think it's a very uh, good headset. At least at the backup price, it's, uh, it's uh, totally awesome, uh, and I'm really glad uh, uh, I backed it. Oh yeah, yeah and, you're lucky. Uh, and uh, so. Um, really looking forward to mine. <laughs> well, yeah, I believe yeah. so. Awesome. Um, 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 what I noticed is that um, these are LCD displays, I think. Yes, they are. And um, uh, compared to the uh, older displays of the Samsung Odyssey, uh, you have a much lighter black in the background. Okay. Um, you see this uh, that. Uh, Do you think it's, it's a it's problem not, for Elite Dangerous? No. No? Okay. You've tried it. In, 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 ga in gaming, it isn't a problem at all. Um, I don't know if you've tried movie experiences with the headset or something. That yeah, kind, of, kind of thing. Yeah, you have these uh, virtual theaters or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that, um, or big yeah. screen or something. Yeah, exactly. like that. Uh, I don't know uh, whether it was uh, be disturbing there. Um, if you want to see a really high res movie within the headset, but that's not my kind of stuff. If, as long as you're playing, you're um, in a different kind of world and immersion. And uh, so um, this isn't perfect. It still has its flaws. It's, it's still, uh, but I would call this this uh, the first part of the second generation. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's not, not yeah. uh, anymore the uh, last part of the first generation, but this is the, the first beginning. part, the beginning of the second generation. Yeah. Wow, that, that sounds cool. Okay. So um, I'm wondering now, you have tested the 8K and the 5K Plus. Yeah. And a lot of viewers are now wondering, oh, should they switch from the 8K to the 5K Plus? What's the difference you could your experience? Okay, on? sure. Um, uh, for me, I didn't notice um, any difference at all. Um, uh, the experience I had with the 5K Plus and with uh, the 8K uh, were in um, a game called Onward um, and uh, in Skyrim VR. And uh, both uh, games um, um, uh, were really awesome, both of the headsets. Um, I have a feeling um, that the 8K is clearer at a longer way. So if you start up Skyrim VR and uh, you aren't inside a dungeon, but uh, outside of a dungeon, and you are able to look into the landscape, um, and uh, you are able to see wider without uh, pixels, but it's not okay. that as much as I expected. Um, okay. uh, you can see, uh, especially if you see a trees, if you have used that time we are with the Rift or the Vive, um, um, you had a feeling like if a tree is like 50 meters away from you, it's totally pixel. Okay, yeah. uh, and now uh, it's like 400 meters away. Okay. Um, uh, and that's, uh, I think, uh, I, I think uh, that uh, the engine doesn't even render uh, the, the trees that are 
you like yeah. far away at the moment if you don't use the most extreme mods for it. Uh, so, um, yeah, um, the screeners are a blast compared to the uh, former ones. Okay, so both. You see, 5K both, and 8K, yes. they both, both, they, they both, 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 both smoke uh, the comp both, competition. Uh, yeah, they both <laughs> smoke them. Yeah, wow. exactly. And you have seen the Samsung Odyssey, so you know like how the yeah. pro looks like. Okay, yeah. okay cool. Daniel, yeah. I think, uh, so you're going to stick with your 8K? Yeah. Okay, I, all right. Uh, I always want to make some. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Daniel, thank you so much for this. Nice. I'm here with Björn. And you are from Sweden. <laughs> I'm from Sweden, yes. Wow, Björn, great to have you here. And you came all the way from Sweden to Berlin just to try this? Yeah, we, uh, we are very excited about this product as we are one of the early backers nice. as well. Okay, great. Uh, so I think I was a number of thousand. <laughs> okay, quite early, yeah. Quite early, nice. yeah. And so uh, you have tried now the 8K and the 5K Plus, both? I have tried them both, yes. Tell us first about your first impression about the Pimax in general, not the difference between the yeah, device, the but in general. In general. Uh, the first thing you notice is the clarity of everything, All the right. sharpness okay. from playing with the Vive and trying out the different uh, like uh, Oculus or uh, yeah, PSVR and, and stuff like yes, that. Yes, exactly. The sharpness here is uh, well, the clarity of the text. You can read everything. You don't need to find the sweet spot. Okay. Uh, it's, it's just very nice. Um, and, and also the, the direct immersion that you get. Like everything is. How do you say it? You. You're immersed. You're more yes. immersed, yeah. yeah. Because of the field of view, or because of the clarity, or because of both? I think of a combination, yeah. combination. Yeah. combination of the two. So, um, the first expression is impression is that it's it's very nice. It's definitely the future VR. Cool. So, uh, compared to uh, Vive and Vive Pro, mm -hmm. what is your comparison? Uh, I haven't tried the Vive Pro, okay, so I can't the Vive. compare them with the Vive Pro. Compare uh, with the Vive, Vive I've played uh, a lot on. Yeah. And um, so the, the first impression you get is the uh, for when playing with the, the Vive, you have the uh, I try to explain it as the, the periscope. The, exactly. Uh, exactly. You have something on the side all the time yes and just getting rid of that makes it so much more immersive mm -hmm. it does yeah and it's, so it's, it's really really good nice so you are impressed I'm impressed uh, it's actually I had quite low expectations uh, it's good it's good to come in with low expectations yeah, it is. Think, right it's just so thinking like you can only get <laughs> positive <laughs> yes it, exactly. it is. so yeah so yeah um, my uh, my really uh, I'm, I'm really impressed what they've done here because they were first out with this big field of view yeah. and uh, I think they are uh, they should have a, like a big pack, a pat on the back for pushing yeah. uh, the industry forward totally, in totally this agree. direction so totally agree. big big nice thanks to Pimax for that um, so now let's talk a bit about um, screen door effects could you see any and what's the difference between the 8k and the 5k plus did you see any difference yeah. uh, what we say to our because now um, the viewers are wondering 8K yeah, the or 5K so. plus, what yeah. to do, and uh, uh, what's your impression to them? My impression was the, the 8K is um, the screen door effect is still there, yeah. but it's so small, so it's you really have to look for it okay. to, to notice it. Yeah. So it's it's got it, yeah. Yeah. to so, degree, yeah. Uh, so going from 8K to 5K plus, uh, I was thinking, okay, this is going to be. But I was actually kind of impressed by the 5K plus because it's kind of the same. Looks kind of the same. Mm -hmm. the, the screen door effect. And, and, uh, I can say that the 5K plus is they've done something really good with those panels. Wow. So so it was tough to see any difference if if they would show you the 8K and the 5K plus and you didn't know which one is which probably would be tough to it would be very tough. tough right yeah i would probably say because i, I noticed a bit uh, i'm kind of uh, very sensitive eyes so i can see difference between different uh, frame rates and stuff like that and the 8k felt a bit more sluggish okay in movement and in, in uh, 
while, <laughs> while the 5K plus was really fluid. performing. Performing. Oh, it okay. okay. Interesting. Probably it's because uh, there's more, um, there's a higher heart rate, more pressure, perhaps, and probably, probably because, yeah, the, the graphics cards probably doesn't have to work as hard for the scaling. Well, that's what we guess, right? It, yeah. they, they should tell so us more detail why, yeah. why it's so good. Exactly. Interesting. It's really interesting, yeah. Right. Um, so, okay, screen effect is nearly the same for both, you would say, right? Yeah. And um, how about clarity? Do you see anything, was anything better on the 8K or the 5K Plus? Uh, I've had, I mean, I didn't have that much time with it, yeah. so it's hard to... Um, how to say exactly, yeah. but they are very comparable. Okay, great. So um, you pledge for the 8K? The 8K, yeah. What, what, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do now? My, my thought before going here was that I want the, the best one. Yes. So I'm definitely going for the 8K. Mm -hmm. That was my thought before. I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, because the, the, 8K, uh, the 5K Plus was so good. And for, I mean, if it's easier to drive it, you can have better graphics in the game and you get better performance. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely leaning towards the 5K Plus. Okay, got it. So you're still thinking about it, but probably a bit leaning to change and get the $100 accessory pack yeah, on top of it. Definitely. Yeah, not bad, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Cool, anything else? Any other thoughts that you have? Uh, well, one thing that you've, um, that, well, I've like, thought about was the distortion. That okay, many yeah, people that's good. Are Tell, what, what, are, what are your thoughts about distortion? And um, my, thought, my, my immediate thought was when trying out a, a game with locomotion where you move it, then the, uh, the distortion gets kind of obvious. You like think about it. In the beginning. This is for like trying out straight away. I think if you play it for a while, it may Maybe you get more used to it, mm -hmm. uh, but playing games where you teleport around, mm -hmm. it's an entirely different uh, story. Mm -hmm. So then you didn't think about it so much and you could enjoy the, the game more fully. All right, so, so that's my thought. So okay, cool. games with locomotion, I think you should limit down the field of view a bit. Yeah, I agree with you. You know what, I really agree with yeah. you. Actually, I'm, I must say from, from my impressions, like um, I couldn't play some games anymore with free locomotion. Uh, like, yeah. Because it's, it's too overwhelming. And then, and then I, had to ch I, had, I had to change to uh, yeah, teleport, just like you said. Teleport, yeah. And then I was good. Yeah. But it's sad because I, I love like free locomotion normally, mm -hmm. but then, yeah, it was like, just like you said, it was a bit overwhelming, right? It is. So that's a whole new, suddenly you have this huge field of view, new problems arise, right? Yeah, definitely. And I think still the developers have some things to do to they solve have. to solve that issue. Exactly. Yeah. Wow, that was great. It Thank was. you so much yeah. for your impressions. Thank you. Yeah, I'm here with Exido. Exido also has a German YouTube channel. It's German, right? It's German. Okay. Yes, um, normally not in English. Uh, I think okay. uh, I don't have the fan base for that <laughs> All right. quite right now. <laughs> but your English sounds good though. Yeah, um, try. Uh, you know, when, when people uh, sing under the shower, uh, that's when I learn English. <laughs> <laughs> Great, good to know. All right, so um, you are from Berlin and you came here to check out the Pimax 8K, of course. Yes. And you just told me you're a Pimax 8K X backer. Yes, I am. The full thing, the full power. Of course, because I, I mean, man, it's, it's, it's so many pixels in front of your eyes. It must be it's, awesome. <laughs> it must be so awesome and good. Productive, so, maybe, uh, if you use it as a desktop or whatever. Right. So basically, um, everything that comes now is just for this time, and then you wait for the real thing later. Yes. But anyways, so now, what is your first impression about the Timex 8K and 5K as compared to what you have now at home? As c uh, compared to my vibe that I have at home, it's a totally different experience in any regard. The screen door effect um, on the Pimax 8K as well as the also featured uh, 5K Plus are pretty much not visible unless you really look for it. That's really interesting. Yeah. And, well, Okay, uh, um, of course, uh, the uh, selling point for pi of, of the Pimax is um, that it has a larger field of view. You definitely see that. Um, Huge difference? 
very huge difference well, in guys. many ways, yeah. actually. Thank you very much. Okay. So, Tell us. Um, positive and negative. Uh, both positive and negative. I will try to start with the negative because okay. uh, the positive. Because we're German, yeah? We yeah. Negative first, yeah. But then, in the end, we got the positive. Yeah, so yeah, then we're good again. Yeah, that, that's okay. a happy ending. Okay, happy, happy German ending. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so tell our viewers. So the negative first about the... Well, the negative is actually the uh, 200 uh, degree field of view. It, right now it doesn't really um, feel uh, um, perfect or, or, or that good in any way um, because uh, you got distortions on the sides of your vision and it, well that's, a point. that's, that's uh, some, uh, kind of a game breaker in some cases uh, because wherever you look even if you look straight forward uh, you will see those distortions. The good thing with Pimax software is, and there we come to the positive side. Okay, now you the positive can, side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I hope you um, got that because now it's not the negative anymore. Yeah. Um, you can in the software change uh, the field of view to 170 degrees and something yes. even lower. Exactly. The lowest um, setting is actually pretty close to uh, what you get on the Vive and Rift, uh, of course only uh, considering the field of view, not uh, pixel density or whatever. Um, and the, uh, there is a middle uh, range setting with 170 degrees, which uh, actually is uh, the sweet spot for now. Um, so you don't get that much, much of distortion. It's not like you don't get any at all, but you don't notice it while playing normally. Okay. Yeah. So you would um, tell the viewers go for the normal resolution, which is like 170 degrees, rather than the huge one because there's distortions. Yes. Okay. I, okay. I would say that uh, unless uh, Pimax can change that in software or hardware in the future. Yeah, exactly. Who knows? Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So um, how about the clarity as compared to what you have at home, perhaps? The clarity is much better um, when it comes to uh, you know the SDE. Of course, yeah. it, it's it's a whole different story. Nice. So uh, game changer. Game changer, definitely. Yeah. It's not like you can't get used to what you have on the Vive or something, but um, if you don't even have to think about that anymore in any regard, it's just uh, playing away. Yes. Without the any um, yes, come on, like varies. Okay, about that. Yeah. Boris, good answer. Cool. So it sounds great. Um, what else? So now the big question for you, probably 8K or 5K plus. What is what is your what's the difference that you saw? If, uh, the difference that I saw in uh, 5K plus and 8K uh, is actually that I uh, I didn't see that much of a difference, and that's why I would actually. Prefer for the uh, 5K plus. Okay, um, I mean, uh, uh, it's only until I get my 8K X, so I can tell people. Get the 8K. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm not the one to tell everyone here, but um, when when I have to say uh, when I have to compare the 5K plus and the 8K directly, I have to say that uh, the 8K doesn't really show that much of a benefit uh, than, uh, as you would uh, not think. Okay, if you yeah. just, if you just hear the yeah. numbers. If you just hear yeah, 8K, of course, right? Yeah, that, then, that's more than 5K. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> we can do the math here. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but the uh, difference is not that visible. So okay. I would say uh, if you are on a budget or whatever, um, or graphics card is a 1070, like mine. Or All right. Well, that's very interesting, right? It's like a very surprising. Yeah, it was, and it was a really cool experience, to say the least. Um, I mean, um, it's not only that I had a, a good impression, uh, got a good impression of the Pimax uh, HMDs. It's also everything around here. Yeah. I mean, uh, really, people are talking to each other like they would be uh, familiar friends. Yeah, yeah. friends with, exactly. Yeah. 
and yeah, really, know, it's, it's cool uh, talking to all those VR enthusiasts and there's also a good catering here, we got pizza, we got beer. Adult beverages. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And, good place here. And in, oh god, can I say that? Yes, bro. In, in another, in another. Oh yeah, you can see. even got videos. Yeah, like uh, adult entertainment um, <laughs> videos were tried here on the Pyramix, and did you? <laughs> did it work? Yeah, you, you won't see that on an STC event. Never. Right? This can only happen with a with a Chinese startup. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually pretty surprising. Yeah, they're very um, yeah down to earth, right? Yes. They're really down to earth, right? Yeah. You can speak here with the CEO. Oh, yes, right. with everyone. Uh, so not, nice. It's not like it's not like you're restricted from anything. You can, could you even can take out, adult movies. Yeah, you could even take out your uh, camera and uh, make film. a little film. Yeah, no problem. Good I atmosphere. Guess. Yeah, they did a good job. That's they the they uh, definitely did, considering what uh, has been going on in the forums. Oh, <laughs> it's a funny place to be. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So overall. You go away, you go home in a very positive mood and you're looking yes. forward to receive your 8K or 5K plus. Uh, I guess the 5K plus now. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, Exido I... made his choice. He's going to go <laughs> for the 5K plus. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that's that's what I did. Well, my 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 real choice was the 8KX. <laughs> He's an average. <laughs> nice. Wow, cool. So nice to meet you and thank you so much for the interview. Thank Great. you as well. I'm here with Roger. I'm so happy to see you. Roger is a long time MRTV subscriber from yeah. Sweden. The Sweet Globetrotter. <laughs> yeah, the Sweet Globetrotter. Nice to have you here. Yeah. So, he came all the way from Sweden. Yes. To meet me and yeah. and to try out the the uh, Pimax 8K. Yeah, the first thing was to meet Sebastian, and then Thanks, uh, of Thanks, course man. the IFA and the Pimax meeting was also amazing. So it's a big package. Nice. So it was a great weekend. Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing weekend, really. One yeah. of the best weekends. Anyways, now. Uh, Our MRTV uh, subscribers want to know your impression of the Pimax. So you've just tried it? Yes. I, and, uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think? Uh, I can't say any brand that I have tried before. That's not fair. But uh, this is uh, the best so far I have tried out. Nice. The one I have in my company is good, but you can't compare it at all to this one. In your company you have, uh, can you say what you have? Or? Yeah, it's a virtual reality company uh, with a VR event. People can come and ah, play uh, virtual reality games and just have fun. Nice, that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good concept. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, impressed. You're impressed? It seems like you're impressed. Yeah, I'm really impressed of it. Great. Really. So in, um, what impressed you? The, the, I think the resolution. The resolution. Yeah, and the, and the, the field of view. Yeah, of course. The it field of view together. is amazing. <laughs> yeah. How much better is it as compared to what you are used to at home? I have not seen them dark games yet, but because uh, many glasses like Oculus and HTC, why they can't do it. Dark games yeah. get so uh, what you call it uh, uh, screen door mm -hmm. effect screen door raster yes know? exactly yeah. screen door effect yeah. yeah so but if th this glass can uh, do also dark games uh, horror games it's going to be amazing so yeah I like it you're happy yeah I'm real happy so. Oh. Okay, so I pre-ordered three one already. <laughs> nice. So, um, what what impressed you more, like the the, the 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 field of view, which is now bigger, or the picture itself? What is what is more important for you? Where you say like oh, the clean picture is more important than the field of view. Yeah. Okay, wow, yeah. okay. interesting. Yeah. You know the, it's the clarity of the picture. It's yeah, I like it because we're living in 2018. You shouldn't have a bad picture in the glasses today. Yeah. Uh, the cleanness, the cleanness, what you say? Uh, is, yeah, the crisp, clear crisp. picture. Yeah. Okay, I like it. Nice. Yeah. Then, did you have a chance to try out uh, both glasses? The no, I just 
try out the, the 5K, so I'm going to try out the 8K also. So it's going to be interesting. Nice. So you want to buy three now, three pieces? Yeah, I uh, <laughs> get, got the email with the guy from Pimax and we're going to talk to each other and see what they can do if they can. Okay, for, your VR, for your VR arcade? Yeah, for my VR company. Nice. VR event company. VR it's event. not an arcade. I, okay. I call it VR event. Sorry, man. <laughs> no, it's 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 uh, arcade. It's more like you come and play alone. Yeah, okay. but this is an thing. Yeah, we play together with other nice. friends. Yes. Cool. So for you, you think this is the next generation now? Yeah, I think Pimax can be like Samsung was one day. Wow. Very, wow. very small, like Huawei. Okay. Yeah. Very small, and then they just grew bigger because they are the best on the market. And I think Pimax can be that. One. Okay. So for, do you think this is now the best? Uh, headsets going to be on the market. Yeah, on the one I, of the one I have tried. Yes. Okay. Wow, Roger. Thank you so much. Thank you for your yeah for your impressions. And uh, how about the whole event? The whole oh, it's amazing. The Pimax they treat us with dinners and uh, snacks and beers. It's an amazing company. Yeah. yeah. It was great. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> really good time. Awesome. So, yeah, I, I want to thank you, man, for coming home from Sweden to say hello. And yeah, we had a few beers together. Probably gonna have another one now. I think so. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have the slight feeling it's gonna happen. <laughs> slight the feeling. slight feeling we might have another German or and Swedish people <laughs> oh, are together. The same. It's fun. <laughs> it will, no, yeah, right. We are the same. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Good. Yeah, let's do that now. So let me um, stop with the video now and uh, just want to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Sebastian. <laughs> Love you. Arthur, hey. you have just hello tried. again. <laughs> hello again. Yeah, you have seen this guy here on my channel a lot. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. So Arthur, um, you have tried the Pimax 8K, and you've tried the Pimax 5K Plus. Right. Tell us about your experience. How, how did how, how do you like the, the the headset? It's great. I mean, first impression is the headset looks much uh, more heavier than it is in the real life. Like when you take it on the head, you realize how how um, not heavy it is. Right? It's not heavy. It's, it's not heavy at it's all. Quite okay. It's quite light. It's quite light. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a big step, step up in the resolution. How about the FOV? The FOV, the resolution, the feeling, you're just more immersed in the, in the whole experience. And I think the one of the amazing things is that I just tried an um, 8K uh, racing simulator. Yes. And I tried it in my with my Odyssey, I tried it with uh, with HTC Vive, and I was not able to play it with those headsets. Oh, really? Just because you, the FOV is small, you have to turn more, you have to okay. look more more crisp into the road and into into those signs. Here, I was just sitting and I saw my you know my, my steering wheel, I saw everything I needed, all the all the things, and also I was not even looking around, but I was seeing some cars coming in here. But that's a really big difference, and, and I think that's how you you get it, how you are getting immersed more in in, uh, in the games. Okay. So was amazing. Really. So uh, you are like uh, blown away? What, or I I don't I don't think it's like blown away because I tried the Pimax already uh, on VR days in Amsterdam. Okay, um, so you know. So I, I knew what to expect, but I think it's a big step up from what we have today, for sure. It's like a huge step up. Okay, so and I'm looking forward to my 8K. So great. So um, compared to your headset that you own right now, I think you own the Odyssey. Right, the Lenovo Explorer, the HTC Vive. I had the Oculus, but I, okay. I, I sold it. I don't need it. Okay. So um, compared to those devices, you would definitely use the uh, the Pimax now. 100. No question. No question. Um, Great. But I, I don't see. I'm trying now to come up with the reason why would I use something different. I mean, Odyssey is pretty comfortable yes. and has a good sound. But again, I don't use it at all almost. And the only reason why I would use uh, Lenovo Explorer because when we are developing Somnium Space and when we are trying Somnium Space, the flipping thing, you know, the Lenovo Explorer is like a working it's, it's horse. It's useful, right? You can yeah, just and not only this, like it's a, it's a working a, yeah. horse for $200. Cool. It's just unbeatable. I can right. lay down, it maybe falls down. And I also I'm not, like it. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, exactly. Pimax is something I will use for games, and like for Somnium, I just tried it with 5K Perfect. It looks, looks good. awesome. Looks nice. Really awesome. Wow, that's great. So you're looking forward to the. I'm to the very much looking forward to ship it, bring it on. I'm, I'm ready. Perfect. So, um, did you did you see any anything negative? Like, how about distortion? People were talking about distortion. Did you did you see any? I saw a little bit of it. Uh, to be completely honest, in 5K, I didn't see it in 8K. But I think in 5K it was a matter of calibration. Okay. Uh, so I saw it in one game. I didn't see it in another. So it's just a 
calibration uh, thing. Okay. So, but I, no, in 8K in racing simulator, I didn't see any distortion. It didn't bother me at all. Nice. Okay, so that's I cool. Don't, I don't feel so, um, which games did you, did you try? So I tried Skyrim. Um, I tried uh, Eve. Uh, this uh, space simulator. I don't know which okay. one was that. Um, then I tried uh, this. Mm, mm, Lip motion oh, yeah. with finger, that was amazing. How do you like this one? This is really cool. Like yeah. this is the next time we're definitely integrating it into, into something. I mean I love it. It's cool. just it's just the fingers and the latency is low and it's just a different feeling, like if when you can move your hands instead of controllers. Yeah. And I tried some new space on 5K, which looked really, really look better. Look better. That's, that's really I can cool. confirm our uh, our um, uh, our graphics is ready for 5K. Because I was a little bit worried now, I saw it. It's good. It's, it's good. Wow. The so textures. Great. So definitely uh, looking Thumbs forward. Thumbs for the team. Looking great team. And okay. Looking forward to get your device. Yes. You can see that they are passionate about that. And I think that's what I, what I really value about this That's what we company. love about VR in general, right? Like passionate guys. Right, who right. But it's like not like you can... In my personal opinion, they're not like as corporate as many other companies. Yeah. You don't feel it, right? You don't feel it. You, you just think they want to bring you the best product. And that's what they're doing. It's one of the best products on the market. Sure, for sure. Arthur, thank you so much for your opinion. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I'm here with Misha. Yeah. <laughs> and you have just tried the, the 8K and the 5K. Yeah, right? exactly. Both of them. Both of them. So please tell our, our viewers, what, what is your first impression? Yeah, my, my first impression was when I uh, tried the, the, the motion uh, thing with, yes. with the hands. That was very nice because uh, each uh, single finger can be moved in VR. Nice. And that, that's really amazing. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. And uh, the next thing I tried was the 8K. I uh, played Pavlov, with this, with, which is a shooter um, where you have to move very fast. Move a lot. Yeah. yeah. And um, there, I have to say, it was a, there was a little bit a problem with the distortions on the, on the sides on, on with the displays. You used the, no. the, 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 the big field of view or this, the I normal field I of view tried, or what? I tried both. Okay, cool. Yeah. Tell, tell um, you about it. You know, uh, I tried both. I tried the large field of view and the normal one. And with the large one, the distortion <laughs> was worse. Okay. Yes. And with the normal one, it was better. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. And um, are you using VR right now? Yes. What are you using? Um, I'm using the wife right. since one and a half years. I bought it in the beginning of okay. 2017. Okay. And I think I'm quite experienced okay. already. Okay, great. Yeah. So, okay, um, so um, compared to your wife, yeah. if you compare the wife to what you tried today, yeah. Would you prefer the 8K or the 5K? What What is your impression now? Well, I backed uh, the 8K, okay. so um, normally I, I would say uh, you should prefer the 8K, but now I'm, I'm not quite sure because the 5K okay. is, is not bad. Yeah, it's um, it's still very it's a good resolution resolution and compared to um, the wife, both of them of course are better in the resolution and yes. also the field of view makes yes. a big difference. It's true. Yeah. Okay. So um, you have backed the 8K. Yes. And um, you are you going to switch to the 5K plus or not? I don't know. I don't to, know yet. I have to think about it. I Probably have you just wait for the reviews of MRTV and yeah. Reviver and Voodoo. Yeah. And then you can make a decision. Yeah. Yeah, and also I'm looking forward to of course, also of course, uh, if Pimax, Pimax is going to uh, make some improvements with the 8K, so yeah, who knows? I, I'm I'm not sure. I, I think I'm waiting for the reviews. Okay, great. Okay, Micha, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. welcome. Thank you. All right, so lots of different opinions. Most of them were positive about the 8K and 5K plus. Well, I will tell you all about it once my NDA is gone. It should be 16th of September, and then you will yeah you will learn about what. I think about it. I really hope that you enjoyed this and all these interviews. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.